Well guys, it's going to be all about char next couple of days. Uh, yeah, last night for supper we uh, fried us some char. And we get left over, so I'm going to warm them up now with a bit of fried potato for breakfast. Uh, for dinner. You now I'm bringing some water to a boil. And I got some onions, salt meat, and a little bit of salt pork. So I'm hopefully going to go in the boiler. There. So I'm going to let that boil for a while. And, uh, and when it's ready, I'm going to stew up a couple of char heads along with a, a piece or so for the wife. And then filter these off like this right here. Uh, look at that camera. I got some. Uh, Codfish salt right here, and uh, they'll be going in the smoker in the afternoon and hoping to have smoked char for supper. So, and just look at this one here. I think this one here is about uh, six and a half pounds. Beautiful, beautiful char. I mean, this is look at the color. This is spring of the year fish. Just imagine what this fish is going to look like in the fall of the year. Look how thick, right? So. There. A piece will be for our dinner and these nice fillets here. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, we got a little bit of salt there in the pan. These backbone pieces, they are the first pieces that you'll eat coming out of the smoker. Some people will probably say, don't cut towards your hand, but this works for me. So at least leave a little bit extra meat on these bones. See how nice and, and, and thick that is? Like, you know, the bone is there, but it leaves it a bit meaty. And, and the fat behind that vein and, and places right there. That's some of the tastiest fish you're going to eat. Gosh, just look at the color of that fish. And now I'm just going to sprinkle some salt over it so it'll cure. Like I said, I like to use this coarse codfish salt. It's my favorite for the camera fish for the smoker. And there's enough there for the smoker. Like that. And I got the, like I said, that's the heads and a piece there and a stew for dinner. I'm going to cut another piece out of this one right here. But I'm going to split this one. I'm going to share some with our friends, you know. Uh, got a few fish, but uh, you know, we're kind of heading in towards our uh, fishing season, so I don't see any point in putting any amount of this in the freezer. So I'm just going to enjoy this when it's really fresh and when the best time it is. So, yeah, so there you have it. That will be breakfast, dinner, and when that's smoked, that'll be supper. And some of my friends is going to enjoy some of this as well. breakfast. Now to uh, salt meat and onions and a bit of salt pork I'm going to add the potato. Just going to cook that, let that come to a ball for a minute or so and then I'm going to add the char. Now the char heads is boiling there so I'm just going to turn the heat back a little bit. Let that finish cooking and over here now I this is the char that I cured for the smoker. Get this ready and now this fish uh, wasn't curing real long, uh, ooh, about three and a half hours, 
a little better. So I'm just going to brush that salt off with my fingers. If I over cured, I would uh, dip this in water and wash all the salt off. But uh, you know, I find if you over cure it, the fish gets a little tougher. But you do it like this, the fish is a little more delicate, yeah, a little more, mm -mm, you know. Do lady. Yeah, I'm just gonna heat this char up, you know, enjoy it while it's fresh. Won't be a big lot longer, you know, we'll be getting salmon and stuff. So this stuff ain't going in the freezer. Or I could do it with very little of it. <coughs> How would you like that served up, sir? There. This is the biggest piece. Now this one will go right in the bottom. Great. <coughs> I think I'm going to manage it for a while and I didn't think I was going to get down the smoker, but I think I will now, so that's good. This right here could be my favorite piece. This piece right here, look, just under that bin there, and that's where a lot of the, you see, look, a lot of the fat net down through there. You can't make candy taste any better than that. It's impossible. This, my friend, is going to be one hell of a treat in a few hours' time. So right here, that's the biggest pieces on the bottom. That's where most of the heat is going to be. I'll put the next one in there like that. And right here will be the first pieces I'll be going for. Mm -mm. I'm going to let the char dry off a little bit before I put it in the smoker. You want to hear one of the hints, Joe? Mm -hmm. Man, just look at that right there. It's two char heads. Right here, look at this. The <coughs> Cheap meat. It's really good to run the eyeball. All that fat there, see it? Mm. Load of old mega tree. Mm. And that brat is unbelievable. A little bit of potato and salt meat. Third straight meal. A Hebron char and uh, we have smoked char for supper. The second lot of chips there now. I'm gonna pull the can up uh, very well. Hopefully, I'll do it in two smokes. Because oh, look at that. Let's just take it this. Take it this top one. This is certainly one of my favorite pieces of smoked fish, and especially the fat beside the vein there. That is. Like candy. Just look at all that fat and everything. Oh, just look at that. Mmm. Oh, that's so tasty. Mmm. You cannot get any better than that. Yeah. Mmm.
little grease all on my fingers. <coughs> that is super good. Mm. So fresh, <coughs> so fresh like that's unbelievable. Mm. That is done just right. Mm. Nice and moist, not overcooked. Oh my, it's too good. Gonna snap that bone in half. That is unbelievable. Best smoked fish I had in a long, long time. Well, I must say, that was so tasty, I had to get another piece. Oh, that. Oh, that was cured just right. Mmm. Well, guys, all I've been eating lately is char, 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 and I gotta make a run to a Norton's River to pick up a skidoo, so I'm just gonna nibble on some of this char for breakfast here. And it's really good smoke, there's so much fat in it or something. Oh, melting your mouth. Some of the best smoked fish I had in a really, really long time. Mmm, they're absolutely delicious smoke. Like I said, I think it's due with the high uh, fat content in it. Even though the spring of year fish, they're really fat. Mmm. Unbelievably good. Mmm. All that fat around there, that's the, that's the best of it right there. Just look at that, see all that grease there? Unbelievable. Mm. I wish you could really, I wish I could give you a taste of this for the try. Uh -oh. Yep, they are excellent smoke. Mm. Man, it's going to be as good as a breakfast you're going to get anywhere. Mm. So moist. Well guys, just look at that deer. That char looks fabulous. So I had smoked char for uh, breakfast and I'm gonna have smoked char and I'm just gonna make a Caesar salad go lie here now for our dinner. Just look at the oil that come out of that uh, char that was just lodged in the plate.
Yeah, that's what we got for our dinner. Smoked char, Caesar salad, and a little simple macaroni salad. And, uh, wait. Sold the best for last. Scrape your fork and the skin to get the bigger skin. Just look at all that fat. And that, my friends, is char candy. The flavor in that is just unbelievable. Mm. Loaded, loaded, loaded with a mega tree. Oh. Yeah, you see, Brand Char is the best smoked fish I had in a very, very, very long time. I think it's must a lot to do with their fat content or something. Absolutely delicious. If ever goes back to uh, he brown again. I'm gonna take my little small smoker with me. Enjoy some nice smoked fish while down there. That is unbelievable. That is the bomb. <coughs> well, just look at that. I had a smoked char for breakfast. I'm so good I had it for dinner, and the dinner was so good. Now I got it again for supper. <laughs> this time with a bit of broccoli salad and a bit of baked potato. And so we're really enjoying this char from He Brown. Eat it up, you know, when it's nice and fresh. And we Fantastic smoked. Oh guys, just look at there. I got the, the char heads all smoked there as well. I'm just gonna leave these in the smoker for the night. Well, just look at that. Now today for dinner we're just gonna have the, the smoked char heads lying with some salads and stuff. And man, I tell you, sure smells good. Well I just split these heads in half. I got smoked them and you know there's not a lot of meat on them, but what's there is really, really tasty. You do get a nice little chunk of meat right here. There, a bit of bone in it, but just gotta be careful with the bones. That this all, but the stuff here, man, is loaded with flavor. Mmm. No matter if you smoke them, fry them, or stew them, that that fat in around the oil cycle. Look at that. Mm-hmm.